Okay, this video is called Soy Instant IQ Test. My father used to say to me whenever I did something stupid, you just failed your instant IQ test. So, also people have asked me to make some shorter videos. I know there's a short format, but it's a pain in the butt. You gotta make this vertical narrow window. I don't have the resources to do that. I don't have a lot of time. So, Soy Instant IQ Test. Basically, you know, I try to be polite when I give most of my lectures and I try to go into more detail, provide the scientific papers, but people sometimes want a quick, fast answer. And by the way, I've made a bunch of videos about soy. Do I think it's a good idea, soy or not? And I'm like, you know, excuse me. I don't know if I could be much more obvious. No, I think it's stupid, okay? I think it's one of the many things out there that lead people to becoming infertile, not to mention all kinds of other problems. It's highly estrogenic. It's got thousands of times more estrogen than practically any other food other than flax. It's goitogenic, meaning damaging to the thyroid. By the way, and when I say highly estrogenic, it doesn't just activate the so-called good receptor, the beta receptor, estrogen receptor. It also activates the alpha receptor. When I looked at the paper, there wasn't that big a difference in the amount of activation of the alpha and the beta receptor, the good and the bad one of the estrogen receptors. In the famous paper that everybody quotes, it's high in fat. I don't like high fat foods. It's high in protein. I don't like high protein foods that much. Don't get me wrong. I eat beans, but still, it's, it's a high protein bean. It increases insulin-like growth factor. It contains heme iron, which is a relatively unique thing for a plant food. It's GMO. Who knows what the significance of that is? It also tends to be sprayed, the non-organic form, of course. is non-organic to be GMO and non-organic sprayed with GP, glyphosate. And, you know, there's a lot of potential problems with that. Um, it's processed with hexanes, a known neurotoxin. So it's sort of like all these negatives. How could it possibly be a good idea to eat that? Then the argument comes up, well, what about the Asian communities who ate some soy? Well, they ate very small amounts. They grew it in their backyard or community farm. They did minimal processing on it. That's a different item than what we're talking about in modern processed soy, typically, that's not organic. And so then the joke is, well, if a person is dumb enough to eat soy, do they deserve to be sterilized? And, you know, that's a little bit of a harsh thing, and it's just a joke. But what I'm saying is there's so many negatives, it's not even funny. So why would anyone want to bother with it once they've actually studied it? And what about the people who say, oh, it's not that bad? Well, my feeling is they haven't read the papers. Um, and you got to especially read the old papers because there's less financial industrial uh, support to promote the product. It's a billion-dollar product. It gets tons of promotion. And um, so anyways, that's the instant IQ test on soy. I personally don't think it's a good idea.